Hey guys, it's Sashad. I'm a bit sick right now, so that's why I sound like this. But I really wanted to get this video out there because I made a video in which I talked about the glorification of Sophia Richie's style as part of her style evolution. This is where I think the roification of her style began. This transformation has been most notable on Jennifer Lawrence, Victoria Beckham, and Kendall Jenner. The TLDR of the roification is neutral tones, flowy silhouettes, and billowy handbags almost exclusively from the brand The Row. Sophia Ritchie's style, up until her rofication, has shown her affinity for fabrics with sheen, quality knits, and an overall polished look. She seems most comfortable and confident in these types of looks, so for her to have a lot of pieces from the row makes perfect sense for her style sensibilities. So while this is being seen as some kind of rebrand, in my opinion, it's her maturing enough to see which brands fit exactly what she's going for. But I think there's a way to incorporate these style philosophies that the row has popularized recently and so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so i would like to distinguish the style and style philosophies of the row from the style of the olsen twins themselves i think the two do overlap but they are not synonymous the olsen twins have also designed for elizabeth and james and olsen boy aimed more at affordability and then I think Olsen Boy is aimed specifically at like tweens or younger consumers. And so I'm going to distinguish the row as a brand with its own world. So on Vogue.com they describe the aesthetic of the row as shared across women's and menswear, drop rounded, fluid tailoring, and colorless suits and long roomy overcoats in super sophisticated double-faced cashmere and luxurious Japanese technical fabrics. Best seen in the menswear, the pants, voluminous and the leg, are gathered in pleats. So that's just an excerpt, more specifically talking about their fall 2023 ready to wear line. But I think it does a good job of giving specifics and generals of the brand's aesthetic, ethos, all of that. So in order to create a verification of your own closet, you do have to have some key pieces. I will say a sweater vest, an oversized button-up, some lightweight slacks, a blazer, and a maxi skirt are usually what you'll need. And I'll tell you why these pieces work so well. So specifically for a sweater vest, you'll probably want to find something that's cable knit or just tightly knit because it has a very specific shape to it, but it is usually knit. It drops on the body creating this really flattering look and like the one I have you could even get ones with elbow padding in them to make it a little bit more out there and a little bit more avant-garde playing with natural shapes and I think a sweater vest is the best way to do that without doing too much I think this is kind of like the peak of silhouette when it comes to the row oversized button up usually in the row specifically like their runway shows they use oversized button-ups to layer with this style it adds comfortable volume lightweight slacks have always been a staple in my wardrobe because those seem to be the best fitting type of pants it's one of those pieces that work for a lot of different occasions but it's also a way of just having a very comfortable elevated look but depending on the slacks you get, I like I have these green ones that I designed myself with this asymmetric flap. They can really add a pop of something interesting and different and dynamic to the outfit. So it's not necessarily all just I'm working at H&M, <laughs> but it can be a little bit more catered towards your personal style. Next is a blazer. I think blazers are by far one of the most versatile pieces of clothing in general. But particularly when you're talking about the verification of your style, everybody should own a black blazer. Blazers are also super easy to layer with, especially when you're talking about with button-ups. It's something that can function as a cardigan, can function as a jacket, and sometimes it can function as a shirt. There's so many different ways to style it, but something I would pay attention to in terms of shopping for blazers 
are where they cut off on your leg. I think that's a very, very, very important. Um, for me, I thrifted this specific blazer and it just so happens to cut off a little bit above mid thigh. And I think that's usually the most flattering look. I feel like maxi skirts started being popular a couple years ago and I wasn't fully on board with it, but I found this maxi skirt. I've been determined to learn how to style. I think sometimes maxi skirts can appear a bit frumpy because they can get rid of any shape you have, especially if you're like I am a bit more pear shaped. But personally, I like when a maxi skirt doesn't necessarily have to show off my curves. And I think that's kind of tying back into the verification and the idea behind it. I don't think it's necessarily body conscious. I think it's more conscious of the clothing themselves being the beauty. And of course, every single glorified outfit needs a pair of loafers. Now, I have two different pairs of loafers. I have these more buttery leather, um, hard bottom loafers, and I have these more gummy soled loafers. Both great. I would say the black ones are more of a casual look. So figure out which type of loafers suit you and your style or even having multiple options can change your outfits drastically. So when you're shopping for these key pieces, I think you really, really want to pay attention to the details and don't buy things unless you absolutely love them. Think about how many pieces they can work with, what different types of pieces they can work with, um, whether they're a size too small because you want to think about layering and if the sizing itself is capable of layering with. So I'd love to see how you guys glorify your wardrobes. Um, tag me in any videos, pictures on Instagram, on TikTok, all of that. I really want to see you guys taking these steps and actually putting them into action. That would be super cool. So yeah, thanks guys. Bye.